I, I can do 18, 22 hours a day easily. Just keep banging on. To thrive in whatever you do, please understand your terrain. Know what your target is. Don't guess it. Be as clued up as the next man, because that's, that's, that's your petrol. That's your, 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 your fuel to get you moving. If you don't know where you're going, what your targets are, you're never gonna get there, period. I'm not afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to fall over, make a mistake. That oftentimes cripples people on the onset of getting to, into anything. I'm not afraid of that feeling. It actually propels me and works quite the opposite. Work hard, sleep less. Just imagine myself collecting awards. Just imagine myself, you know what I mean, getting big parts. Imagine myself working with the greatest actors. My imagination is the one like, yeah, I mean, I see myself driving that car one day, and I get that, you know what I mean? That's, that's part of my inner magic, is that actually, if I can see myself doing it, I could probably do it. Just keep banging on. You know my history, I've, I've, I've been sort of uh, on all sides of uh, my journey. You know, I didn't, I didn't have success very early. Um, and I went through some very dark times and you know what I mean one thing I kept doing is you know Inspiring myself looking for inspiration and growing and uh, and it hasn't stopped and I want to keep doing that and I also uh, Want to inspire others, you know, there are millions of me sitting at home right now And they don't know it and it's just good to be able to get this sort of platform to sort of say come on man Go for it. So listen man. No speed. Yes. I don't do things for money, and I've been broke most of my life. So because of that, I can't sort of suddenly go, I need to do a job just to get some cash, you know what I mean? I know that's a lot of times it is people's motivations because people need to eat, but in my position, I've been poor most of my life, so now... When I was 16, Contemplating of being an actor, mm. I was in sound systems, DJing, mm. you know what I mean? And, you know, it was like that or this. So I always go back to DJing. I always have a studio, I always have turntables, always. Been doing it a long time, you know what I mean? And there was a, there was a, a, a drive to be famous, to be, you know, that that pinnacle, to be that guy. And I'm not, I'm not that, I'm not. It's not, it's not. My ambition isn't that as much, you know what I mean? Good work, keep working. So it's gonna be hard for me to sort of like suddenly be like, you know, oh, I'm lifted up by this wonderful life that I have. I love it, but you know, my feet are on the ground. You know, it's, a, you know, it's work. It's a job. Achievement. Achievement is inspirational to me, you know, people doing it. Someone that on Monday didn't know how to do this and by Friday can do it. That is an inspiration to me. I'm not afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to fall over, make a mistake. That oftentimes cripples people on the onset of getting to, into anything. The first time I ever picked up a DJ Dex was horrible. Horrible now. but. I'm not afraid of that. I'm not afraid of that feeling. It actually propels me and works quite the opposite. But I really loved to do it. My breakthrough was actually deciding I wanted to be an actor and go into a drama college. Not a drama college, I did a performing arts course that changed my life. It turned my dreams into a reality. It gave me an actual, tangible target to go, oh, actually, I could do this. That was my breakthrough, because it was a breakthrough of my mind. That was my biggest breakthrough. Of course, there have been numerous breakthroughs over my career and my life, which I'm all proud of, but none so much as that realization that I want to be an actor. To thrive in whatever you do, please understand your terrain. Know what your target is, don't guess it. Be as clued up as the next man, because that's, 
that's that's your petrol that's your your, your your fuel to get you moving if you don't know where you're going what your targets are you're never going to get there period um, work hard sleep less keep your head down like when I swim 25 laps guaranteed if I look up and start counting those laps I'm petered out by 15 if I put my head down and keep working away and work at technique, work at internal rhythm, work at, mm, I hit that length, I don't even know what length I'm on, guarantee you I'll look up and it'll be 20 and two more, three more to go. And that's a very simple device, but I think people find themselves incrementally checking how far they've got. And that, you know, when you compare it to anybody else or whatever, it's just a, it's a recipe for disaster. Just keep banging on, achievement. Achievement is inspirational to me, you know, people doing it. Someone that on Monday didn't know how to do this and by Friday can do it. That is an inspiration to me. I've always worked hard, you know what I mean? Like I said, I'm not, I'm not afraid of failing either. You know what I'm saying? Like I, 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 I've thought that so many times that this is it. I'm never going to work again and it just kept going. I've just never stopped working, you know what I'm saying? I mean, even when, you know, I had four years of not actually booking jobs, I was out on the streets trying to get a job. Work hard, sleep less. People talk about aiming for the skies. Sometimes even aiming for the skies is intimidating. Just don't give yourself boundaries. I mean, lose the boundaries, lose the conformity, and just go for it. I used to hustle these streets um, thinking about, you know, one day I'm going to be on in New York and New York was that, you know, sort of big pinnacle mm -hmm. mountain and here I am. What will you begin?